Wayne Rooney has been one of the modern day great players at Manchester United. 252 goals in over 550 appearances for the club. Ever since that debut against Fenerbahce back in 2004, Wayne Rooney has been centre stage for Manchester United. A 13 year career at the club. As I said, one of the best ever players to play for the club. He's been here and he's outstayed the likes of Van Nistelrooy, the likes of Ronaldo, the likes of Tevez, the likes of Berbatov, the likes of Saha. So many strikers have come and gone, but Wayne Rooney has stayed at the club. But heading into the 2017-18 season, I want to explain why I feel that Manchester United would be better off without Wayne Rooney next year and why I think that this summer should be the summer that Wayne Rooney leaves Man United. I think any Manchester United fan can admit that Wayne Rooney is not the player he once was. Uh, let's go back to 2010. Man United in the Champions League quarterfinals against Bayern Munich. 66 seconds into the away game at the Allianz Arena. Nanny pings a cross in. Rooney's there to smash it into the back of the net. Man United go 1-0 up. And he was the heartbeat for Man United that night. And heads went into everybody's hands when Rooney was chasing back in the last few seconds of the game. He went down holding his ankle, looked in severe pain. Bayern Munich, or was it Olic, went on to score a late injury time winner for Bayern Munich to give him that 2-1 lead. But nobody cared about that. Wayne Rooney had went down. We had the second leg in a week's time. Was Rooney going to be fit? Yes, he was. Rooney started at Old Trafford seven days later. Nobody expected it to happen. And three minutes into the game, he laid the assist on for Darren Gibson. Man United go 1-0 up. Then Nanny scores 2-0 up. Then Nanny scores again 3-0 up. Rooney was the heartbeat for Man United on both occasions. He went off in the 55th minute in that game and then Robin scored that volley. We went out on away goals, 4-4 overall. But it was, that was when we saw the best of Wayne Rooney. That was when Rooney was the heartbeat of United's team. To even consider a starting eleven without Rooney in was pure madness from any Man United fan. He was our centrepiece. But those times have changed. And unfortunately for Rooney, he's just not that centrepiece anymore. Obviously, the moment came in October 2010 when Rooney's relationship with a lot of fans changed. Uh, Rooney wanted to leave the club. He called into question Man United's ambition. You know, after selling Ronaldo and bringing in Obertan, Owen and Beve, maybe he had a point. But Rooney, his, the reason it hurt Manchester United fans, the reason it hurt me so much, is because Rooney's head had been turned by the money over at Man City. Ultimately, Fergie convinced him to stay. He stayed, went on the next year to score 34 goals. Ironically, we lost on goal difference to Manchester City, that league title. But that was the last year, I feel, we've really seen the best of Wayne Rooney. For me, it's been a slow decline since then. It's not been that obvious, but I think it's obvious now for every Manchester United fan and fans of other clubs can see and fans of England can see that Wayne Rooney he used to be that archetypal player, that player that led by example, gritty, 90 minutes, everywhere. He was never world class in any particular part of his game, but he was top draw in every single aspect. He would track back, he would tackle, he would ping a pass 40 yards, he would shoot from 30 yards, he would head the ball, he would hit it with his left foot, right foot. Rooney could do everything, but Rooney can't do that anymore. And I don't think he ever will at Manchester United again. But Sonic, I want to really note at this point in the video that this is not an agenda against Wayne Rooney for what he did back in 2010. Yes, I won't ever forgive him for that, but me looking at this completely objectively as a Manchester United, maybe you can't look objectively as a Manchester United fan, but looking objectively as I can at this, even I can see that Wayne Rooney is just not the asset and he's not the player he once was for Manchester United. Now, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to come on the video and say, how can you disrespect a club legend like that? He's our top scorer. How can you try and get him sold? I'll always look to the example that Gary Neville set. Back in 2011 at the Hawthorns, Gary Neville had a pretty abysmal performance. There was a tackle on Graham Dorrance where it should have been a penalty. It wasn't a penalty. But Gary Neville has since spoken about that game and it was said it was a match he knew that his time was up at Manchester United. And this is one of our greatest ever captains. He made over 600 appearances for Manchester United. But Gary Neville knew when the time was up for him to hang his boots up and stop playing for Manchester United. I don't know if Rooney's got that in him. Rooney's he's still a kid at heart. He wants to play every single week, every single game. Even if he's not fit, he still wants to play. And I just don't think he'll ever get that at Manchester United. He's like a dog without a bone when he's not playing football every single week. 
And that's been reflected in what Rooney has said. He has basically said that he wants to play at Manchester United next season. When asked about his future, Rooney said, I've been at this club 13 years, of course I want to play football. And when he was asked whether that will be at Manchester United, he said, of course. I haven't thrown my toys out of the pram, but I do want to play and help the team. Football changes. You have different challenges in your career. I would like to play more, but I've tried to help the team on and off the pitch. Of course, you want to play every game. I've had to try to take my chance when called upon. I'll do my best for the team. I think Rooney sums it up there. This is a new challenge in Rooney's career. Up until Jose Mourinho came in, Rooney was always first choice at Manchester United. David Moyes did it, Louis van Gaal did it, but Jose Mourinho, for me, has managed Rooney correctly. He's used him sporadically, he's used him in the right moments. He hasn't given him a starting position every single game. I hope that would kickstart a burning desire back in Rooney to get back into the team, but unfortunately for him, injuries have curtailed that and stopped it from happening. And what we saw against Swansea and Arsenal was a player who was completely out of form and completely out of fitness, because Rooney's always been that player that's taken a few games to get back to his best. It's just that I don't think he'll be afforded that time and opportunity at Manchester United anymore. And as I said previously, any football fan that has watched Wayne Rooney in the last decade, 15 years, can see that in the last five years, Rooney has been on a slow decline. This will be the fifth consecutive year that Rooney hasn't scored 20 goals in a single season. This could be the lowest appearances he's ever made in a single season for Manchester United. As I said, Jose Mourinho is selecting Rooney on occasions, but on other occasions, take the League Cup final, for example. Man United need a goal against Southampton. Rooney's on the bench, Rashford's on the bench. Who does Mourinho bring on? He brings on Marcus Rashford. And if that is not the biggest indicator that Mourinho has a different view, Mourinho wanted to sign Rooney a few years ago at Chelsea, he failed. But he's, that was a different Wayne Rooney to what Mourinho has seen at Manchester United. He may be a wonderful leader off the pitch, and I've got no doubt that he is an excellent role model for the youngsters. But on the pitch, we're just not seeing that Wayne Rooney that we all fell in love with. And Wayne Rooney is already frustrated at the lack of game time that he's getting at Man United, but what are Man United going to do in the summer? We're going to sign at least one new striker. So Rooney's going to go even further down the pecking order. I think we've got a better strikers than Rooney now, better wingers, better number 10s in Mata and Mkhitaryan and Martial out on the left. So Rooney is not first choice for me in any position anymore which is exactly why it's only going to get worse for him in the summer because Man United are going to sign more players in those key areas that need strengthening. So if Mourinho doesn't have Rooney down as a first choice at the moment, he's going to be even further down the pecking order once the summer is over. One thing I would say here is I've got absolutely no doubt that Rooney can go on at another club and re-galvanise his career and re-find his best form. I just don't think that's going to happen at Man United anymore. I mean, you look at three key examples, uh, Darren Fletcher at West Brom, Wes Brown and John O'Shea, three players who their times were up at Manchester United, but they went on to have excellent careers elsewhere in the Premier League. And I feel Rooney could do that at Everton. He is only 31, he may have started when he was 16, so he may, his body may be older than most. But Rooney can go back to his boyhood club and refine that deadly form he used to have at Manchester United. I just don't think he's got that fire in the belly at Manchester United anymore. And I don't think he's going to get the opportunity in the game time that he may need to rekindle that fire. He'll have that at Everton. He'll have that in the MLS if he goes there. And then when you consider Wayne Rooney is on £300,000 a week and Man United are rebuilding, we're still rebuilding after Fergie. It's been a dismal three years under Van Howe, under Moyers. We had the FA Cup, which was wonderful. This season under Mourinho, we've seen real progress, a real change and a shift in how we're playing. And Rooney hasn't been part of that. And I don't expect him to be part of it next year because I do think he'll be sold this summer. And if you take his wages off the bill, that could pay for one, two, maybe even three top draw players in the, wage, in the wage structure of Manchester United. And that can make a real difference. But I want to conclude here by saying that I will be forever grateful to Wayne Rooney for what he has done for Manchester United. For me, he's given me some of my favourite memories as a Manchester United fan. You know, that volley against Newcastle, that overhead kick against Man City, all the goals he scored against Man City, two away that he scored the other season. You know... His goal against Barcelona in the Champions League final, we may have lost it, but Rooney was leading by example. Rooney has been an integral player, one of our best ever strikers, and somebody who has spearheaded our dominance in the Premier League. But that time 
is in the past. I feel that's behind Wayne Rooney at Man United now. And I feel that this summer, Man United as a club have to move on without Wayne Rooney. And I feel that Rooney has to move on without Manchester United. I feel, as I said, he can go on to be an excellent player elsewhere. It's just for me, the time is up and the time for Rooney to leave United is this summer. But that's my opinion. You may disagree. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the whole Rooney situation. Should we keep him on for another year? Is there still more that we can get out of Wayne Rooney? Or is now the time that he should leave? Let me know in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. And we'll see you soon. Take it easy.